because the website they went live today but and stores it's coming out tomorrow i don't get why but it's walmart another day another walmart metallica not a huge beatles fan and jimmy beautiful but i don't know where anything is in this walmart because i've never i've been to this one like that's Walmart right there. I haven't been here in years. And I don't want to ask for help. To ask that you be all mine. I never was good at sharing. I'm just good at caring. I'm going to every single toy I know. And I know if I ask the people, they're not going to know what Funkos are because I've done that before. And the people that know. It was a lost cause, but we're gonna go over to GameStop, not for Comic Con, but for this is the only And last week we did a video talking about the pops that I want from San Diego Comic Con. This week I'm going to be showing you those pops that I got. You're going to see if I got the ones that I wanted. If I didn't, who knows? But let's get into this video. So y'all saw the clips of me going to the different stores and all that. So we are going to start with those that I got on the first day. And we got Snoopy at Barnes & Noble. It's Astronaut Snoopy. So they did not have the Demogorgon, sadly. I was told that it came out the next day at Barnes & Noble. But I just, I didn't go the next day because I already had plans to go to Walmart on the next day. But here is Snoopy. He's super cool. I'm not going to be taking these out of the box in this video, but if you would like a review on any of these pops, tell me down below in the comments which one you would like a review on because I need suggestions of which pops y'all want reviews on because I don't know. So first we have Snoopy. So then we went to Walmart to see if they had the Fortnite Llama and as y'all saw, they did not, but I did get two pops because these were pops that I have been looking for. And the first one is Jon Snow from season seven. 
I think this is the only Jon Snow pop that I don't have until November when some new ones come out for season eight. So this is a really cool one. I know a lot of people didn't like season seven. I personally really like season seven. It was one of my favorites. Season eight's a different story, but this is a really cool pop of Jon Snow. So the next one that we got is Duke Kaboom, and this is from Toy Story 4. So I got him because Keanu Reeves plays him, and I love him. I love John Wick. So I had to pick this up, and I really do like the Toy, Toy Story 4 line of pops. So we added that one to that collection. So then on Amazon, I did... Sorry, my bracelets are loud. They're like... I just wanted to have something on because I don't wear jewelry that much. So our next one came from Amazon and that is the Chrome Boba Fett and it is again a convention exclusive. I know the Jon Snow and the Duke one weren't but it's okay. So we have this Chrome Boba Fett. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the chrome but I don't like the gold chrome. The green isn't that bad. Just some of the chromes I don't think look that great and it's not um a line that I'm going to try to buy every single one of. Our next one I got on eBay and it is you could get it from the Funko shop or you could get it from the convention itself and that is Toucan and he is wearing a San Diego Comic Con shirt and this is for 50 years of Comic Con. So on the screen I am going to be having when um or what these are worth not it's not what i paid because again like i got these literally for like eight not this one but like i got this one for 15 dollars which the the con ones are going to be more expensive than your normal ones the walmart doesn't put the price on theirs but yeah this is a toucan you can't really tell but he's wearing a san diego comic con shirt really cool pop i love him so let's get into the second pile so i got them all online so as i said barnes and noble did not have the demo organ out so i just went ahead and ordered him online now the packaging is terrible the packaging was terrible and it is really damaged i had never ordered a pop online from barnes and noble before because i do have a barnes and noble in my city but it is they did not do a good job there are kind of spoilers for stranger things through in the back so I'm gonna keep that covered but it is a gold demogorgon so the next four are from hot topic i was really nervous in the last video that my order didn't go through but i did get that confirmation email you know if you follow me on instagram so we got fox from harry potter the phoenix and this is a flocked one i do keep all my flock pops in the box and to let you all know i recently became an inbox collector i put all my pops back in the boxes and i will be doing a video on that sometime soon i don't know when just whenever i have my pop display ready it's happening right over there that's why our filming spot did kind of change but fox he is um dumbledore's dude yeah our next one is another toy story one and this is mr purple pants the hedgehog he is super cute i really like him i love hedgehogs my dog loves hedgehogs and that's why i love hedgehogs but he is really cool so our next one is sabrina the teenage witch the comic version and she comes with that little pot the i don't know what what the witch i don't know what you call this where witches do all their spells and potions. So I've actually never read the comic, but I am kind of interested in reading it now. But I did watch this show as a kid. I haven't watched the new one yet, but Sabrina has Salem the Black Cat. I have a black cat, not Salem, but Fred. So I've always liked Sabrina, she's really cool. So our next one is, I forgot how to say his name, Qu Qu Quesimodo holding the gargoyle from The Hunchback of Notre Dame and i always felt bad for him so <laughs> for the hedgehog of notre dame notre dame notre dame however you want to say it but he is super cute and moving on to our next two which came from ebay we had and well, one came from ebay one came from amazon i got these today and this is baby puss from the flintstones the saber tooth tiger he is super cute i love him and this box i love the colors of the box i'm usually not a pastel person but i do think this box looks really cool 
And then our last Comic Con exclusive we have here is Chuckles from Toy Story. I just thought he looked cool. And he, he just looks really mad and I'm like, same. But yeah, so those are all the pops that I got from San Diego Comic Con. I did not expect to get this many because at first when they, they first announced all the pops, I was like, oh, they just don't look as good as last year. But I did get them. And the hunt, it's the best part for me. I always have so much fun hunting for these pops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me down below in the comments which pops you were able to find. Bye, guys. Bonus if you stay till the very end. It is my birth month of July. So now I will be having my Amazon wish list down below in the description box. Don't feel obligated to buy me any gifts, but it would be really awesome if y'all could. Thank you.